Hey everyone, thanks for coming by for today's video. Today we're going to be doing a little roll review of a roll of Velvia 50 that I shot over this last summer in Wildwood, New Jersey. I shot it on my tried and trusty Yashica Mat 124G. All the photos that you're going to be seeing are unedited except for uh, just kind of like basic corrections like making sure my horizons are straight. So yeah, it's going to be very representative of the film straight out the camera basically and it's also worth noting that all of these photos were both developed and scanned by the people at Dark Slide Film Lab. That's run by Emily Swift. You may know her from Instagram or Twitter. So yeah, anytime I really need roles to get developed and scanned, I usually send it off to her and yeah, uh, that's about it and uh, let's get into the video. So this is our, our first shot here off rip these photos are very cool like color temperature wise and also super contrasty which is kind of the characteristics of shooting velvia 50. but yeah as you can see in like the background the the blues are super cool and they almost seem icy honestly the the blue water kind of reminds me of mountain dew voltage which is <laughs> which is pretty fun. When I was shooting these, I made sure to use my spot meter and meter for the highlights. So for this one, uh, I metered on the umbrella, like on this on this part, um, just, to, just to make sure that my highlights weren't clipping. And I, I knew that shadow detail is better resolved on slide film than highlight detail. So just something to keep in mind. But I'm not super crazy about this composition. It's definitely a warm-up shot, which most of the, the first shot or two on, on every roll is kind of me just warming up. But um, overall, I like it. I like it a lot. The second shot, I, I really, really like. I really dig the composition. However, I did miss focus. So as you can see in the background, uh, I, I back focus a little bit and the umbrella is out of focus, but overall composition, I really like the empty beach umbrella canopy thing. The empty beach chairs under the umbrella is just kind of reminiscent of, of days on the beach when you're spending most of the time in the water and I don't know, just, just reminds me of a good time. This third shot, composition wise, it's a little flat. The main reason why I wanted to take this photo was because of all of these little tents that were alongside like the water park sign. I just thought it was a super unique like juxtaposition of like this flat sand landscape and then there's just all of these little tents sprinkled in there. I'm not too sure what the, those were, were for or who was staying there, but I just thought it was pretty unique and I just wanted just wanted to capture it. This is one of my favorite <laughs> compositions. I took this one I think on every camera that I took to this trip. I missed focus, I back focused again, but I really, these Velvia blues are just freaking crazy dude. It's so realistic that you can almost feel like you're in the scene, which is, Something that I, I don't usually feel shooting color negative photos, but it's just a really nice, saturated and accurate representation of the scene. So these, I think there's maybe two or three shots coming up, but this one I kind of risked it all. Um, I definitely don't recommend doing this, especially if you have like, uh, like more expensive cameras, but uh, I went into the water for this one. I really like how they came out it really shows the scale of the beach and like how big it is because in the foreground here you have all of these people who are a little bit smaller in the frame and then kind of in the mid ground slash background you have the amusement park and then you just have these sprawling skies which 
just show like how how big this place actually is but overall i like this one not super crazy this one i like a lot more than the previous one just because there's a lot more going on and it's just a little bit more balanced like a lot of the action is taking place in like the, the lower third of the frame and the upper two thirds are dedicated to to the sky but i really like this person here uh how they're kind of walking and their their legs are crossed um and then you kind of have these two kids playing in the water and just like in the middle is this person um just trying to balance them out a little bit um when i was scanning these in and did kind of like a preview um a lot of people thought this person was was uh not fully clothed or their pants were were down really far but it just happens that their tan kind of matches their their swim shorts so uh just i thought that was uh, a little funny now this one i'm not sure if i missed focus or it was diffraction that kicked in but this one i think is kind of the the poster child of what what velvia can do it's super saturated and very realistic um in terms of composition it's all right but i think the one thing that really sets it apart from just a normal flat landscape is like the lone seagull yeah overall i'm, I'm pretty pretty happy with this one this is a a portrait i took of my beautiful wife tristan and she also has a YouTube channel. She does book reviews, art stuff, sometimes photography stuff, hopefully some more photography stuff in the future, wink, wink. I really wanted to do a portrait on Velvia because when I was doing research about it before I even shot it, people were like, don't do it for portraits. It makes people super pink and just not super pleasing, but I actually really like how like the skin tones came out in this one. It's a little contrasty, but that was just due to the light situation. Skin tone wise and color wise, I think it's 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 pretty good. This one, uh, I'm still the jury's out on how I feel about this one. I do like how everyone's kind of silhouetted and kind of backlit. It feels very like a memory of the beach and towards the end of the day when everyone's headed back to their either like their their hotels or their houses what have you but it's just kind of like a nice ending piece of the story that's going on i really like the the balance that's going on in this one this kind of triangle that's being formed We've got the people in the foreground here that are having their little picnic. Then you have this person kind of maybe digging for crabs in the sand. And then I really like these two. This this guy here in the shorts, followed by this kid following in your father's footsteps sort of thing, or kind of like growing up, like the different stages. I really like this one. This one I don't have too much to say about. It's very similar to the, the first photo on this roll that we took, or that I took. <laughs> but we have people in the chairs this time. But yeah, nothing nothing too much going on in here. Uh, I really like the clouds, how they're kind of, they kind of create an invisible third. Other than that, pretty solid. And this last one, I, <laughs> I, I must have taken like, five photos of this dude just lounging in his beach chair soaking up the sun this is my first time at the beach as an adult so this was just kind of like one of those scenes that you see in all of the beach photos that people take just some super tan older dude not super crazy i i, I wish i would have just gotten closer to this guy and maybe ask if I could take his picture a little bit up close. I think that's one thing that's really helpful about doing these kind of reviews is realizing what works and what doesn't. And one thing I've noticed by doing these is whenever I, I don't feel like a connection to the image, it's because I'm not close enough or I'm not filling the frame with something. So I think that is something I'm gonna take note of moving forward.